Digital identity is one of my favorite topics. I could probably spend hours talking to you about this. A big question that got posed to our team at GS1 US around digital identity is if a product already has a UPC or barcode, which is essentially an identity attached to that product, why do I need a digital identity? Well, if you haven't looked, the world is going digital. And we're in a world where we have a very hybrid physical and digital experience. We like to interact with things online, but we want physical products to show up at our door. And when you think about the importance of having fidelity between the digital data about a product or about its supply chain, and what you actually see when you look at the package, it's critical. So we've been investigating this concept of digital identity. Well, what is digital identity, you ask? In my opinion, it's really about taking an existing physical identity and creating a cryptographically secure, digitally verifiable identity. Did I just blow your mind? That's about as technical as I ever get, so don't worry. It blew my mind too. But I like to say that we're taking physical products in everyday supply chains and we're creating a digital reputation. A digital identity is just a way for a machine to receive information about something and know that it's true, to be able to have trust in that data. So you have to start fundamentally with, can I cryptographically secure this piece of information? Digital identity would say yes. Then the second thing that you have to do is attach something called a verifiable credential to it. And not just one credential, but many credentials. Digital identity only works when you can attach trusted credential data to that identity so that as a product moves through a supply chain, people can rely on the information about it. If you think about it, the UPC or the global trade item number that we assign to an item today, that's a credential that GS1 stand behind. We issue those numbers and we're willing to tell the world, yes, this was a number issued by GS1. You can trust this number. Then as the brand owner manufactures that product and puts it in a package, they create the size of the product, the marketing information, the ingredients, and they will create credentials for that identity that tell you, this is what this product is, this is where it was manufactured. You can rest assured that the certifications for this product are that it is non-GMO project verified or it's certified USDA organic. All we're really talking about is ensuring that things are uniquely identified, that they can have a reputation that follows them physically or digitally, and that you can actually trust in the information that you're being told about something. It's important that we start working on these principles now because even though technology adoption cycles are accelerating, the amount of work to bring about industry-wide uh, change to adopt digital identity and verifiable credentials um, is gonna be nothing short of a Herculean lift that we all have to collaborate on together.